Hello friends, this video on combustion and flame part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson. So let us quickly look at some of the questions. Question number one. List conditions under which combustion can take place. So now as I have mentioned before also that there are three things which are absolutely necessary for combustion to take place. First is a fuel or a substance you need something to burn right otherwise there will be no combustion so in this case the paper is the combustible substance or the fuel air because combustion happens in presence of oxygen combustion is nothing but reaction of the substance with oxygen to release lot of heat that is combustion and the third requirement is heat so this heat will increase the temperature of the substance so that it can reach its ignition temperature ignition temperature it varies for each substance and it is that minimum temperature at which a substance catches fire. So these are the three things which are extremely necessary for combustion to happen. Question number two, fill in the blanks. Burning of wood and coal causes dash of air. So when we burn wood or coal, what happens? They release a lot of poisonous gases, they release a lot of smoke. So all these causes pollution of air. A liquid fuel used in homes is, so one example of a liquid fuel which is used in home, maybe to light lamps, yes, it could be kerosene because normally you have other fuels like petrol, diesel, but we do not really use them at home. Fuel must be heated to its dash before it starts burning. So the minimum temperature where it starts burning, that is the ignition temperature. So any fuel has to be heated till their ignition temperature. Fire produced by oil cannot be controlled by. Now, how do we control fire? We have different ways. We can make use of water. We can make use of carbon dioxide. Now, water cannot be used to control fire in some cases. One such example is the electrical equipments. The other example is oil because oil and water, they really do not mix with each other. Now, when they do not mix with each other, then water will not be able to reduce the overall temperature because water controls fire by reducing the temperature of the substance. But in this case, water doesn't mix with oil, so it will not be able to reduce the temperature. So fire caused by oil will not be controlled by water. Question number three. Explain how use of CNG in automobiles has reduced pollution in our cities. CNG is nothing but compressed natu natural gas. So CNG is comparatively a cleaner fuel when compared to petrol or diesel. So it is a cleaner fuel in terms of uh, it is very efficient because it leaves very less residue when it is completely burned. So when you completely burn the fuel, if a lot of residue is left behind, so that residue is again going to cause trouble to the environment. Right. That also proves that the fuel was not efficient enough. Most of it remained there as residue. So obviously only a small part of the fuel was actually able to produce energy. But when there is less ready residue, so that means first of all, uh, the fuel was efficient. Most of the fuel got converted into energy. Secondly, we have less uh, waste material present for the environment. So that is also an advantage. So that means it is very much environment friendly and it also produces less harmful gases when it is burnt. Like in case of coal, when you burn coal, a lot of smoke is produced, a lot of harmful gases, which if breathed in causes a lot of problems in human beings. But here comparatively, the gases which are produced, they are also less harmful. So overall, we can say that CNG is very environment friendly and that is why uh, use of CNG is preferred over petrol or diesel. Question number four. Compare LPG and wood as fuels. So here also if you compare both of them, you will see that LPG is more environment friendly when compared to wood. Because when both of them are burned, in LPG no smoke is produced. It is very less. But in wood a lot of smoke is produced, which again is hazardous for health. In LPG, carbon monoxide is not produced and carbon monoxide is a harmful gas. It causes environmental pollution, it results in acid rain, so it is, it is not a good gas. 
but in case when you burn wood carbon monoxide is produced so lpg cause less air pollution because no smoke no carbon monoxide no harmful gases whereas wood causes a lot of air pollution if you compare their calorific value you will see that lpg has a higher calorific value calorific value means the amount of heat energy that is produced by burning 1 kg of the fuel so that means it produces more heat Produ producing more heat is again a characteristic of a good fuel so that way is also lpg is a better fuel when compared to wood so you can actually match their calorific values so lpg is, is uh, quite higher when compared to wood Question number five, give reasons. Water is not used to control fires involving electrical equipments. Now, when I say water, we normally do not mean distilled water. It is not pure water. So this water contains dissolved salts and minerals in it. So this water is a good conductor of electricity. Now, since it can conduct electricity, so when we uh, put water over electrical equipment, then chances of getting electric shock increases. Therefore, water is not used wherever electrical equipment is involved. Instead, what is used? Carbon dioxide is used. LPG is better domestic fuel than wood. Again, because LPG is environment friendly, less smoke is produced, less air pollution, higher calorific value. Paper by itself catches fire easily, whereas a piece of paper wrapped around an aluminum pipe does not. Now, how easily an object will catch fire, that completely depends on the ignition temperature. So those substances which have very low ignition temperature, they will catch fire very easily. So the same thing happens here. Ignition temperature of paper is very less, so it catches fire very easily. But the ignition temperature of aluminium is quite higher. So when you have the same piece of paper, but it is wrapped around aluminium, so, so the overall ignition temperature increases. And that is why they do not catch fire that easily. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.